Hi guys, it's Jessica Hayes. Today I am going to be using some of the new products that I am very excited about. I have the Makeup Geek Sparklers in this look, uh, the LA Splash Architect Liner, as well as the new Tartist Lip Paints. This look is super easy, but I think it's super glam. It's a quick and easy one to do before you go to see a holiday party or maybe even as a New Year's look. So if you want to learn how I do this glam tutorial, keep watching and I will teach you exactly how I do it. So for this eye look, I'm just going to start off by applying a little bit of the NYX HD Eye Primer. I'm just going to pat that in with my finger. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of the infamous Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek and this Smith 232 brush. And I'm just going to pop that through the crease of the eye. Now I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Matte Shadow in Coco Bear and this little NARS 12 brush and start building that in the outer crease of the eye. I'm going to take that same shadow underneath the eye. I'm going to go back in with that Smith 232 brush and a little bit of the Coco Bear and just make sure that that's nice and blended. And a little underneath as well. Using that NARS number 12 again, I'm going to take the color Americano from Makeup Geek, slightly darken up the very outer V of the eye. Take that big fluffy blending brush again and just softly sweep that over the dark color that we just placed in there to make sure that it's blended. Now for the fun part, I'm going to take this Makeup Geek Sparkler in Solar Flare. These shadows are amazing. They're like a hybrid between a glitter and a pigment, so very appropriate for holidays. I have a swatch video of all of the shades up on my YouTube as well if you want to check it out. So I'm just going to take it on my finger and pat that onto the lid of the eye. If you do want more of an intense kind of look with these, you can use like a glitter adhesive or a wet kind of sticky base. Oh, aren't they pretty? I just want to keep adding more because it's so pretty. Put the glitter down, Jess. Put the glitter down. I'm going to take that uh, blending brush again and just sweep that through the crease and make sure that there's no glitter that's kind of gone over blending work that we've done. And now for my other obsession right now. This is the LA Splash Art Architect Liner. It has a really fine tip on it, so you can easily get a really fine liner without stuffing it up every time. So I am gonna go for a mid to fine liner today for this look. I have been obsessed with this liner ever since I got it. It's just super easy to manipulate, super easy to get a fine line if that's what you want. But you can build upon it to get a thicker line as well. There's just something about the tip that just makes it a lot more controllable than any uh, felt tip liner that I've ever used. I went ahead and applied a little bit of mascara and some lashes and now I'm feeling a little top heavy so I'm just going to take this little Morphe 515 brush and that Americano color and I'm just going to pop that under the lower lash line just to balance the darkness underneath the eyes a little more now. I love this tiny little brush because it's really good at getting up snug underneath those lashes. A little bit of the Kat Von D Everlasting Mascara underneath the lower lashes. 
For cheeks, what I have been doing lately is using this cream sculpting product from Rodial. Getting a little bit on my Smith 115 brush and just using that cream to lightly contour underneath the cheekbones. Make sure that's very blended in. We don't want any harsh contour lines. Oof. I'm going to be taking a little bit of this highlighter from Wet n Wild. This is the shade Rose Champagne Glow. I'm using this color just because it's a little softer than a lot of the highlights that I have. Because the eyes are so glittery, I just want it to keep the highlight somewhat soft. Next I'm going to be taking this new lip paint in Frenemy from Tarte. This is part of their new matte lip collection and I have a full swatch video on my channel if you guys want to check out the other colours in the range. Well, there you have it guys. That was my holiday easy glam look. Like I said, if you guys want to see more of the Makeup Geek Sparklers, I have that on my channel and also the Tartus Lip Paints as a swatch video on my channel as well. You can check all of those ones out. If you guys have any questions at all, make sure you drop them below. I hope you guys all have an awesome holidays and I will see you guys before the new year. Bye.